Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how I made these delicious, very tasty, scrumptious Korean style corn dogs. That's right, Korean style corn dogs. This is my first time having them and I made them on my own. So, if you're new to the channel, I hope you subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope you're gonna um, leave lots of comments down below. So let's go ahead and let's get ready to get into this video so you too can learn how I created these Korean corn dogs right at home and you can make them as well. And thanks for joining Cooking with TK, Cooking with Tammy. The ingredients that you guys are going to need to make Korean corn dogs are very simple, very easy ingredients, okay? You're going to need flour you can use all-purpose flour by adding baking powder salt and sugar but i'm using self-rising flour which is simple so i don't have to add baking powder because it already has baking powder in it i'm going to add a pinch of salt and i'm going to add some sugar to my self-rising flour okay you're going to need some sausages or some hot dogs you can use any kind that you prefer or that you like, okay? This is the kind that I'm using today. You're going to need one egg. You're going to need some mozzarella cheese sticks. Or um, you can use um, any type of mozzarella cheese that can fit onto your skewers, okay? You're going to need milk. I have my sugar here. Okay. And you're going to need breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs. And you're going to make sure that your breadcrumbs are um, plain, not seasoned breadcrumbs. And you will need oil to fry your corn dogs in. So let's go ahead and let's get started. And let's get into this video and let's make us some Korean corn dogs. Okay, in our first step, we are going to cut our hot dogs and our cheese into the proper sizes for our skewers, okay? If I didn't mention that and what you will need, you will need some skewers or something to put your corn dogs on like this, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to cut these into a good size, your hot dogs or your sausages, okay? And we're going to cut these like this, okay? And those are the sizes that we will cut our hot dogs for our skewers, okay? Okay, everyone, and there you go. See? You're going to cut them all the same size. Okay? Just like that. It's on our skewers. Okay? You can start off by putting the mozzarella on in your skewer. Press it down as far as you can. Okay. Then you can put a hot dog on here. Whatever type of skin you like. Go through your hot dog. And you can have it like that. Okay. Then you can put some mozzarella <coughs> at the other end of your skewer. Okay. See? That's one. Let's make. Okay, now that we have our corn dogs made, we're going to put these in the refrigerator before we start to make our batter and allow them to cool. 
Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to add our self-rising flour to the bowl. This is about three to four cups of self-rising flour. Into self-rising flour, we are going to add some sugar. Okay, I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, and we are going to add a pinch of salt. Just a pinch, okay? That's it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to mix these dry ingredients around. And if you're using self-rising flour, you will not need baking powder or baking soda, okay? And no yeast is needed for self-rising flour. Okay, to this flour mixture, you're going to put a hole in the middle. Back all your flour up, just a small hole, okay? Like that, as you can see here. Don't you guys see that? Then you're going to take an egg, crack your egg, one egg, add it to the middle, okay? And you're going to also go ahead and add in your milk, okay? To this, I'm going to add one cup of milk. If I need more milk, I will add extra milk next. Okay, that's my one cup of milk. So now let's go ahead and let's mix this together. If I have to adjust it, I will. We're trying to look for a thick batter. See that? It's not thin, it's thick. Okay. So now that we have that step done, we are going to transfer this batter into a cup. Not the flour, each one, just roll it. And lightly flour. Okay. Because we're gonna want that dough to stick to our corn dog properly, okay? We're gonna have that sit right there. We're gonna do each one. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's batter our corn dog. You're gonna dip it into your batter. Like so, with your batter. Okay. You want it to stick, so you're going to move it all the way around like that, okay? Now, you're going to take it and you're going to put it in your bread crumbs, okay? Cover it with your panko bread crumbs or your plain bread crumbs. Okay, so now we are going to fry these corn dogs. Okay, go ahead. Place it, turn them off. They ain't the prettiest thing. My 
falling out, but my oil is hot. And I got a little one here. Okay, so this one is done. I'm gonna roll it in my sugar. That's my first one. First corn. Okay, everyone, this is the finished product of our Korean corn dogs. Okay, you guys? I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a bite. And see, it sat here for a minute, so I might not get the cheese pulled that I thought I was gonna get, but let's go ahead and let's bite it and let's see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. This is really good with the sugar on it. Mm. Who would ever thought that corn dog would taste good with ketchup, mustard, and sugar? It's very crunchy and it's delicious. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Tammy, Cooking with TK. Peace.